Hello students, welcome back to our class of Automata. On our last class, we have already discussed about CFG or context-free grammar and how it works. And I have specified on the last class that any CFG or context-free grammar will be accepted by a special type of machine called Pushdown Automata. Now a PDA or Pushdown Automata is an FA or finite automata together with a stack. Now as we know any FA or finite automata can be defined as a set of states, one starting symbol, set of final state, some input symbols and delta or transition function as in this FA we can say that if we apply 1 over S1 state then it will remain in S1 if we apply 0 it will come to S2 when we apply 1 over S2 it will be in S2 and if we apply 0 over S2 it will come back to S1 here S1 is our final state as well as initial state both now if we can add one stack with this FA and we do little bit of change in our delta or transition function then we can make our PDA. So in case of PDA we will concern not only the input symbol and uh, the current state. Look in here. Uh, at any time if we know what is our current state and input symbol then we can tell from the delta or transition function where uh, the control will come like if I am in S2 and if I apply 1 then it will remain in 1 but if we apply PDA then uh, one third element will come that is what is in our stack so if we apply any symbol over any state and also what is the topmost value in our stack define the next state. Now in a PDA we have input tape where we will keep our input string and a uh, head will be applied over this input string that will read one by one each character from the input string and from the delta it will define the next state. A PDA is an enhanced finite automata that also contain an infinite stack. So sometimes we also call an uh, PDA uh, have infinite memory. Now what is a PDA? Now in a PDA the transition can be defined like this a comma x arrow y meaning that if you see an a in the input string and the stack contains the symbol x on the top then you remove x and add y add a y that means if we have a in our input tape and x on the top of the stack then we will replace this x with a now this rule applies for a particular state the stack gives us extra power to recognize non regular language now uh, from this diagram i think it will be more clear to you that if we are in state q1 and we are getting a as input and small b is the topmost element of our stack then we will replace this b with this element or c okay now there are various kind of operations can be done over any PDA. Like here I am defining replacement operation. 
if I am in Q1, if I get A and if the topmost element is B. Now I am here, I am getting A as input, my topmost element in the stack is B. Then I will replace this B with C and I will come to state Q2. Okay. Now you can see that we had A as input and we had B as the topmost element in our stack. So we replaced this B with this symbol C. Okay. Now on our second operation that is our push operation. If we are in state Q1, we get A as input string and epsilon is over the stack or some empty over the stack then we will put C over there. So anytime you want to push anything inside the stack then we use this. Okay. So anytime we write A comma epsilon or B comma epsilon so that means if we are reading A or B or C anything in here and we have epsilon here then we will just push this element there will be no replacement in case of replacement we had something other than epsilon here like uh, we had b here okay now another operation is called pop operation so if we have uh, a as the input symbol and we have b as the topmost element in the stack then we will simply pop it so we will write epsilon here so in case of push we will see a comma epsilon arrow c and in case of pop we have a comma b arrow epsilon now last state uh, operation is called no change operation so there will be no change over this stack so we write this rule like this a comma epsilon arrow epsilon so whatever it was just empty transition it will just uh, read a and it will do nothing okay and last operation is called uh, the automation halt if the automation attempts to pop from empty stack when then it halts and rejects the input so sometimes maybe the stack contains nothing and it is trying to pop so replace or do something like that then it will just simply halt okay now when a pda accept some string or it is going to reject it the pda accepts when there exists a computation path such that the computation path ends in an accept state next all the input is consumed and no requirement for this stack okay so i'm repeating again the pda accept that means if you are applying any string over your pda it will accept it when there exists a computation path such that the computation path ends in an accept state so that means you will stop to some accept or final state of your FA and all the inputs are consumed. So that means every uh, each and every input symbols in your tape has been read and you are in the final state and the PDA will reject it either end in a non accepting state so that means you are uh, in a some some other state than the final state of your fa or an incomplete means that and some point there is no possible transition under the current input and the stack symbol so that means you are in such a situation that no more movement is possible from here then basically it will be named as reject operation over the pda now is the stack is empty now how can you check if the stack is empty now what we usually do is to replace a special symbol for our example we are using dollar here at the bottom of the stack whenever we find uh, this dollar again we know that we reach at the end of the stack in order to accept a string there is no need for stack to be empty so basically uh, you can use any other symbol other than this uh, dollar 
uh, I just have used this uh, dollar to check whether this stack is empty or not so whenever you will uh, encounter some dollar there then you will know this stack is um, uh, empty so every other elements over this stack has been read now I am taking one example here I want to define one PDA for this particular uh, CFG <coughs> excuse me a to the power n b to the power n where n greater or is equal to 0 so if there are three na, any n number of uh, a then there will be b na, n number of b so if there are three a's are there then there will be three only three b's are there so if we apply any string uh, then we must make uh, one pda that will accept this kind of cfg okay so in our cfg we have defined one uh, fa that has four state q0 q1 q2 and q3 and we are starting from this q0 now if we apply uh, epsilon that means it, if it is empty and uh, epsilon is also there so that means uh, there is uh, no element in the stack then we will put this dollar so that means initially we will just put dollar there okay now thereafter whenever we will have a and uh, we are getting uh, epsilon then we will put this a there so that means it is simply a push operation okay now if we get b and a is our topmost element in this stack then we will do what so for this operation i'm just recalling again uh, all the rules we define now in case of replacement i'm sorry in case of push operation we had something along with the epsilon and in case of pop operation we had a and b comma epsilon okay so here a comma epsilon arrow a this means what it is a push operation because this resemble this resemble this okay now and in case of b comma a this resemble what this pop operation so if we have a uh, as the input string and b as the top of the stack then we will just pop it out so now the rule is like that if we have b uh, as the input string and we have a as the topmost element in the stack then we will just pop it and the same way uh, as many as b we encounter uh, along with a then we will just pop it and at the end if we get epsilon and dollar then we will push epsilon and we will come to the final stage so that means if there is no any other string remains in the input symbol and we have uh, we have encountered with delta uh, sorry dollar in uh, as this top of the stack so that means the st uh, stack contains nothing so I'm su sum up again if we have any a then we'll just put it over stack and uh, we'll put this a as the uh, topmost element in this stack now again and again as many as a comes we'll keep over this stack and when the b comes then we'll start popping it out and until dollar comes okay now i'm explaining it now maybe we have uh, a a a and b b b so this must be accepted now at the uh, beginning we have nothing in our stack okay now the next step why we did what we we, uh, we were in this state where uh, we have uh, empty st uh, symbol in our stack so our reading head is here so empty uh, symbol and we have nothing in our stack so we will, we are going to put this dollar here okay we did this uh, now we are reading this a here so what we will do we will keep pushing a in this stack 
how many times three times a a a three times okay so a on the next step a on the next step a okay done so three a's are already read now we are going to read this b b b now whenever we are going to have some b and we have uh, a as the top of the stack then we are going to do the push operation okay now let me see first b encounter and we pull, uh, pop the topmost element that we had here this a now second b okay again pop now the third b again pop now we are going to have what this epsilon dollar epsilon so we are uh, going to push this basically not push it is uh, one sort of replacement operation we will replace this uh, or you can say also pop operation uh, this one just uh, dollar will be deleted from the stack done so we are finally in our fi uh, final state and all the input symbols have been consumed by the pda so that's why this is this particular uh, example has been accepted by our pda now in our next example we are going to apply a a b so this must not be accepted by the uh, pda now let me see at the initial state we just pushed dollar here on the next step we are going to push a this a now on the next step we are going to push this a now we are going to have b so we'll pop this a out okay done now we are going to have what <laughs> no way to go because there is no other uh, rules in our delta that define how we how we are going to proceed from here nothing because we have a as the topmost element and we are consuming uh, epsilon here so no rules has been defined in q2 so we are going to halt here and this uh, string is not accepted by the machine hopefully this concept is very clear to you in the same fashion we can also prove that a b b b cannot be accepted so for your uh, homework i am going to give one example just use proper opening and closing parenthesis or sometimes also called as balance parenthesis this uh, this is your homework you can do it in your home and you can try uh, and you can see whether your result matches with the PDA given here. Thank you.